How do you measure the quality of relationships in your life? I think I have just one measure, um, which is the ability to stay in the conversation. The ability to stay in a conversation. Um, I was watching a really great interview by a Teller of Penn and Teller. Turns out he speaks, you know. Um, and they're doing this movie called Tim's Vermeer that's coming out uh, soon about a guy that recreates a Vermeer painting and his journey of what takes him down that. And, and so there's this 30-minute interview that is really good. It's on YouTube that you should watch. Um, but it's, and at one point, he talks about his relationship with, with Penn. And he says, you know, um, I kind of oversimplified Penn like 40 years ago when we met each other first. I thought I knew what that was about. And 40 years later, he's more of a mystery to me than you know, he's, he was ever when I first knew him. Because um, he's, he's this unknowable thing. And he used this phrase, this Latin phrase, omnium exunt mysterium. Everything dissolves into mystery. Um, and I think that's really the, the way of, if, to me, the ultimate understanding of being on your journey is that we're all journeying and we have this infinite depth to us. And my most vibrant relationships are the ones where we've they, you know, the other person is able to stay in the conversation with me um, over a long period of time. Um, and if, if that's unable to happen because of some separation or change or whatever it is, um, then that relationship doesn't doesn't um, blossom, you know, because the only way you're going to deepen a relationship is by uh, communicating your truths to each other. Um, the strength of the relationship is the ability to know the deepest truth about that person and that tr or the evolving truth as you're kind of going down that path and you're, what is my truth today? What is happening? So, you know, um, there's some wonderful communication models out there like Susan Scott's Fierce, Fierce Conversations and um, crucial conversations. I mean, there's different models, but, it, but, but all of them try to get to this thing about how do we really share truthfully, honestly, um, and then stay in the conversation because I think a lot of these times a relationship itself is a work in, converse, it's a work in progress, right? You're kind of coming to this deepening. You're kind of be learning that mystery of that person, but you keep doing it. And it gets hard. I mean, there are times when these things get hard and there's lots of places along the journey where it's like, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to deal with this. It's too hard, you know? Um, and I believe that relationships happen because we are we, we create the relationships to deepen our journey, to, to understand ourselves more. Yeah. Uh, what that means by definition is the other person and you bring things that are in your shadow, things that are hidden from your own view, and you're not seeing what it is about yourself, that that's why you brought them in. So, you know, initially you're very, you have this attraction to people, right? Whatever that attraction is based on, physical, spiritual, uh, all those things. And you come together and the, then it gets hard. Because you're going around this dance and you're coming around this and you get to this point where you seem to have an impasse. Um, and the impasse is because you're both blocked. You both don't have the full idea of what it is. That's why you came to the relationship. But it's precisely at that moment when it's hard that everyone's like, I'm out of here. Right? And then they don't stay in the conversation and there's this greater standing that's right around the corner. Um, this greater hole that's about to reveal itself. And that to me is my, my, what I've seen with myself and other people is that if, they don't, if we don't stay in the conversation, um, you don't get that goal, that thing that you worked for. And then you think, oh, I'm going to go leave this relationship and move on to the next one. Um, and what you find is you're just recreating the same conversation with the next person. Mm -hmm. And if you don't complete that conversation and get down to the bottom of it, you recreate it again and again and again. So I'm just all about efficiency in that sense. I, I know that the people that I've brought into my life and that come into my life are there. And if, if they want to stay in the conversation with me, I'm going to never um, you know, let the hand... Um, with, be withdrawn. It's always there to, to, to have it to, to share. Um, so my measure is really the ability to stay in the conversation with, with another person and you know I can I know which conversation which friendships and which relationships are the closest based on are we continuing the dialogue and share that truth with each other.